this has a lot to do with Dwayne Lynch. I have a lot of respect for Dwayne Lynch, one of the thinkers of this game. Game over, man. Game over, darling. Are we into the fourth game here? Second nurse won the third game to keep this set alive. Mark Griffith Venom is back in the camera. All kudos have to go to Dwayne Lynch and taking over the coaching job. game in this set and Venom wins this game he goes on to be the champion in the Barbados Royal Tennis Open receiving a healthy price $20,000 Shaki Nurse he has to win this fourth game in order to remain in this set this is what people came here to see. Good tennis. Good tennis. Quality yeah. tennis. I think the crowd is a little happier yeah. now yes. that Saki have won at Turkey. Yes. Um, I mean, the only thing they want to see a human ear in defeat a tree straight. And I think it have a lot to do with Lynchy. The young man is gifted, he's talented, but he's not mature. You need a mature coach behind him. Five serving what? Five serving three. Okay. Right. Good to hear you. I'm saying to you, Donnie, Venom is playing really good in his backhand. Backhand. As soon as he bought one, he's for me scoring. That high ball seems to be giving yeah, Venom trouble. Only that, the ball is playing to the baseline. So you don't, it's, it's, it's not in his comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, right, I see, I see what see. you're saying. So the ball is getting big on him. So he's not making the adjustment. Yeah, the young man is making some basic errors, though. Basic errors. Of course, errors. Yeah. In your car. Simple, simple, simple errors here. Yeah. You cannot, not at this level, not at this stage. Mm. This is the finals. Mm. All those um, flaws should be corrected during, you know what I mean? During training. As I said, a lot of these guys just play a lot of tennis. They play at BNX, but the, the technical part of the game is flawed. And that's where the coach comes in. Uh, Mr. Burkett, how will you be able to convince your tennis players in Barbados that they need to have a coach? How oh, 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 will you do that? It's a mindset. You know how it is in Barbados. It's a culture. The culture. Right. You, you have to work with the young, the young, yeah, young primary, that yeah, yeah, young primary schools, yeah. and secondary schools yeah. students. I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of doing that. To be 
yes, maybe they, they need to have that professional approach to the game. And professional is just, just talking about being professional, it's about introducing certain elements into your game. Sports, a physiotherapist, yes. you know, training, a psychologist, a nutritionist. Because when this game gets over and away, that's what's going to happen. Yes. Analysts, where you fail the point, where you lose the most points, the people are going to analyze your game. Yes. Saints. They will play Saints. Saints is going to be a play for the game. It was a picture with Brad Pitt in, um, pertaining to baseball. And they could have calculated the amount of balls that was going to happen. Oh, Jesus. You understand? So, a lot of analytical stuff. So that when, when Fennel plays this guy, they know exactly where he's going to get his points, where his areas, and that's what they need to do. Yes. What he like, what he like, he dislikes and stuff. And that's where we need to carry this thing. It's not just hitting a ball over the net. Nutrition, exercise, diet, fitness levels, all these things is about going to come and play. But Brock, I noticed you haven't mentioned one thing. Doping. <laughs> I don't think. I don't. I, I ain't sure, but. But I'm not saying that. I'm not. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that doping is, is in raw tennis. But if you if you're going it to be be professional, yes. And you're going no, to introduce yes. all yes. these things. Yes, I agree. That will have to come in as well. Yeah, they're going to come another door and do worse things until you pass them. But it's a different tactic being a player here with Venom. He's serving the Shaquem forearm. As I said before, there's a lot of technical things about the game. But you will see. Notice that Venom hasn't changed his strategy throughout this whole set. He's just putting the ball over the net. No, going but, to he's going, but he's going to the youngsters to him now. Watch because it. once he has the lead, that automatically puts pressure on the young man for arm. He's not going to go for the shot. Oh, that's a drive. Seven thirteen. Mr. Griffith is thirteen and the young man nurse. Eight we, points away from twenty yeah, thousand dollars. Yeah. Have a feel here by Shaki. Stage because it's a float ball. The ball is floating, he's not no pace, he's not making the, the yeah. adjustment. The venom is not giving him that pace. <laughs> See so a lot of he people, cannot generate his own pace. See a lot of people leaving. Yeah, it seems to be a fault going conclusion for some folks here in the gym. Maybe they have to go to church tomorrow, Burke. Or have work tomorrow. Comes in. He 
if you are leaving now, Margaret. If you are leaving, yeah. you need to have a, a large crowd maybe because of the, the congestion. You want to get out the car park, they don't want to. I've seen this that poorly people left and then I turn one again. I apologize. It don't seem so this far. I just see this young man, I think he has given up. He has given up the goal. The goal is very tough. This is a different standard of tennis and a different level. Do you have to go back to the drawing board? Like you said, I think your, your suggestions in terms of players getting professional by having a coach, a manager, looking at their nutrition and all those things. You can't just go back to, to just playing tennis, you know, just knocking at the ball. They have to get help. I think Shaki needs to be managed properly in terms of I met some done. I noticed that they're calling out. Are they willing to pay for these services? That's the big question. There's no free ball. There's no free be here. Mm -hmm. You have to pay. Okay. Time. Management is about money. But Are I, I, you willing? If you going to play for $20,000, you can't expect to carry home a check at twenty dollars. You gotta say well I got to invest it in investing. Yeah. But you don't think that the, this is where the Barbers who attend associate comes in as the players can't afford these things, you know? But if you're going professional, I'm not saying they may not be able to afford, afford the system up front. But after going to the tournament and they win somebody uh, that might ready name right now Mark Griffith Venom is one point away. And twenty thousand dollars. No, no, for, not also a soul. Let me solve this young man. This is very twenty-one man. Venom is celebrating. All that hard work that he put in. Really he gets success. Off. Yeah, really paid off. And a young man walks back looking very dejected. But nevertheless, nevertheless, this young man should not be him at bars. He was able to get a game. Do you have any further words to? To see uh, Mr. Burkett? Yes, I am. Mean, that was a good experience for the youngster. He only grew up on this. He's only 17. And I hope the next time he comes, he'll be more mentally and physically prepared. All right. Don't care, folks. We are signing off here from Punches TV and the Willie Gymnasium, the Garfi Sobers Gymnasium. This has been the Bobby the Sword Tennis Open. And this is all that is. The tournament will continue and the players will have an opportunity to continue displaying their craft. This is Terry Dodden signing off from Manchester TV.